This is a beginner AI in cybersecurity tutorial, which is part of TriHack Me Advent of Cyber 2025, day four. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to use AI in various cybersecurity tasks and how we can use an AI assistant. And finally, we're gonna learn some of the risks that come with using AI in cybersecurity. Now to learn all of this, first we're gonna follow the story of a fictional company called The Best Festival Company. Now for the past two years, The Best Festival Company used a chatbot called Van Chatty. However, there were some performance issues with Van Chatty. And unfortunately, those performance issues affected the elves' annual performance reviews. The elves needed something to improve their efficiency by automating some of the tedious repetitive tasks. Therefore, The Best Festival Company is trialing a new AI chatbot called Van Solver. Now, this AI chatbot can perform some of the offensive, defensive, and even software security tasks. And we're going to validate this claim with the practical tasks of today. But before we jump into the practical tasks, I just want to give you a brief introduction into the theory of how we use AI in the cybersecurity world. Now, the first thing that you may have noticed if you go to any website today, chances are you're going to see some kind of a chatbot or an assistant that's trying to help you usually with basic tasks. Those chatbots are actually a very common use case for AI. AI as of today is really good at responding to basic user questions and queries. Those AI bots will give you some answers, sometimes they give you links that can possibly answer your question. However, when they can't answer you, usually they'll escalate to the support team. Now in cybersecurity, we actually make use of AI to help us with certain tasks. And if you look at the lesson in day four of Try Hack Me Advent of Cyber, the lesson highlights three main features of AI that make us use it in cybersecurity. And the first one is that AI is actually really good at processing large amounts of data. For example, if we ingest logs from our network devices or firewalls, AI is good at processing that data and make sense of it. And as a result, the second feature is we can use that data to perform behavior analytics. For example, AI can create what we refer to as baseline, so it understands what normal network traffic is supposed to look like, so that when we have an anomaly, for example, if we have malware or if we have a hacker in the network, then the network traffic will look unusual. It will look different to what normal traffic looks like. And therefore, AI can generate an alert for us because it's good at analyzing behavior. And the third feature highlighted is the ability of Gen AI to summarize text and data. This is basically what you do when you ask ChatGPT a question. It looks for answers and it tries to summarize it for you. Now, as a cybersecurity professional, I actually use it in GRC. So if I have a cybersecurity policy document that's hundreds of pages, I can simply ask AI to summarize it for me and find the thing that I want from that policy. For example, I can add the policy file to AI and then I can ask AI, is this particular action in breach of that policy? That's an excellent use case for AI and cybersecurity. Now, in this practical lesson, we will use AI in three parts of cybersecurity. The first one is offensive. So penetration testers or ethical hackers can use AI to do some of the tedious tasks. For example, if they are performing information gathering and they have large amounts of data, AI can actually filter through that data and make sense of it so that the ethical hacker can have more time to do the important work. And in defensive cybersecurity, as I explained earlier, AI can actually analyze the logs. It can generate alerts, but also in some use cases, it can perform things like incident response if you integrate that AI with your incident response plans and playbooks. Now, in the real world, I've seen this used with limited success. It really depends on the environment, on the maturity of the environment. But I want to stress that in this instant, AI is not really replacing incident responders. Instead, it's just saving them some time so they have more capacity to perform the important tasks. Remember, cybersecurity professionals are extremely busy people. So using AI to save us some time can help cybersecurity professionals stay ahead of the curve. And the third use case in this lesson is actually in software security. Now, you may have heard of the term vibe coding, where we get AI to write code for us. This has a lot of problems because more often than not, that code can have vulnerability in it. And there actually has been some instances where applications that were vibe coded got hacked because the code was not secure. However, in software security, you can use AI to scan code to find vulnerabilities. I've seen it used in things like SAST or DAST, which is basically static or dynamic analysis of source code to find vulnerabilities in it. 
it. This can save us so much time. And now with all that in mind, let's jump into the practical exercise of today. Now in task number one, we need to launch our virtual machine. With TryHackMe advent of cyber, we have a target machine, that's the machine that we will attack, but then we have an attacker machine. So we need to launch both of them so we can use the attacker machine to attack our target machine. Let's do it together. So the first thing, I'm just gonna start the target machine. So simply click this button. And the next thing we need to do is to launch our attacker machine. As you can see, the screen is split into two parts, one for our lesson and one for our virtual machines. Now, what I'm gonna do is, if you see at the bottom left of the right hand screen, you can actually view it in full screen. I'll do that. And this will open our virtual machine in a new tab. Now, as you can see, the first message is from Try Hack Me. So please read it carefully and simply press enter. And that will close our terminal. Now, if you go back to the lesson, so the first question we have is, have we successfully launched our machines? And the answer is yes, so simply click check. And that will record our answer. Now, if we go to task number two, which is what we need to do today. So the first thing we need to do is to actually connect to Solvit, which is the AI powered chatbot. Here you'll have the IP address generated for you. So yours might be different than what I get. So once you launch your machine, this IP becomes visible. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click, copy. And then I'm gonna go to my machine. I'll launch a web browser and I'll just paste that URL, paste and go. Here we go. So this is Van Solvit chatbot and it's telling us our tasks is in red teaming, blue teaming and software security. So here it's telling us if we're ready to proceed, we just need to click complete. So the first stage is just an introduction. I'm just gonna click complete stage to continue. And here the AI assistant is telling us that they wanna generate a Python script or the vulnerabilities within the web application. So let's see if AI can generate a good script that will perform an ethical hacking task. So I'm gonna say yes. We shall begin. We have to wait for AI while it's thinking. All right, looks like we have an answer. So AI was able to scan the file login.php and it found that it was vulnerable to SQL injection attacks. And this attack will enable us to bypass authentication. This is a very serious vulnerability and it's more common than you think. Now AI here is telling us that they can generate a script that can compromise this vulnerability. And it generated the script for us. So it's telling us to basically copy the code and paste it into a text file. Now it's telling us to use nano script.py. Nano is a text editor. You can use any Linux editor that you're comfortable with. So what I will do, I will simply Simply copy this code. So I'm just highlighting the code. Gonna do right click, copy, and then I'm gonna open the terminal and just to see which directory we're in. So pwd present working directory, we're in root, ls. So I'm gonna use vi editor because I'm more comfortable with it. So I'm just gonna say vi script dot py that's simply the name of the file like i said you can use nano as suggested by the chatbot and i'm gonna go ahead and simply paste that code then i'm gonna save it when we finish the script before we execute the script let's just have a look at the tasks it said complete the showcase by processing through all the stages What's the flag present to you? So I think we'll get that flag once we finish all the stages. Now the second task, it wants us to exploit that vulnerable web application. And here it says, remember, we'll need to update the IP address in the script. Now let's make sure that this IP address is in the script that we just generated. So let's say vi script, you can use nano, like I said. So here we have the username is Alice or one equal one. That's a SQL injection attack. The password is test here, URL to the vulnerable machine. So here we need to change that into an IP. We can't just say HTTP vulnerable machine IP. So let me change it. Here's the IP, let me just save the script, cool. And then we need to simply execute the script. It's telling us here, the chatbot, how to execute the script. It's Python 3, so we say Python three and here we say script.py let me just make the terminal bigger so we can see the answer so looks like our script worked so that's the web code that we received from the script it says you have successfully logged into the system all right now continue looking at the code exploit successful flag now this is the flag that we need now 
I'm curious, I want to see how this looks like in the actual web page. And we can just say right click, paste. I want to copy that web page into the browser. Let's see what it looks like. So here the username that we entered was Alice. Let's, let's get it from the script. So here the username was Alice or one equal one. So paste and the password was test. Let's see if it works. Don't want to save password. Here is exploit successful and that's the flag. Let's copy that. It's the same flag that we got as the output. Let's paste. Perfect. We got that. Now we want to finish the rest of the showcase. Let's just go back to our band solve it. It says when we finish, we said complete stage. Excellent. The next one is for blue teaming to analyze logs. You can ask me to analyze an example of logs for the attack we just performed. Let's just say analyze logs. Let's see if the AI is able to detect that an attack has happened. Here we can see the output is analyzing for us. It's showing us that the password was one equal one, which is a SQL injection attack. And it found our IP address, which is the attack box that we used to hack the web application. It's given us the time of the attack, the URL that was used, the username, Alice, and it's even telling us it was a SQL injection attack which is really an example of how AI can be used to analyze log to alert the blue team or the defensive team or the SOC analyst that an attack has happened. That was great. Next thing we say complete stage to continue. And finally, the software security part of this task. Now we're gonna use the AI assistant to analyze the source code to find the vulnerability and help us fix it. We know it's vulnerable to SQL injection attacks. So let's see if it can find this vulnerability. So here we're gonna say, yes, take a look. As we can see, AI was able to identify that vulnerability. It showed us exactly which line was causing it, meaning when the user enter the input, it goes directly to the SQL database without any sanitization. And here it's telling us how to fix it using a classic user input validation technique. Here it's telling us which function to even use, which really is useful for individuals who perform secure code review because it quickly scanned the code, told them what to do. Now they can simply go and fix it. And it's even telling them what tools to use. And that will conclude our activity. So finally, we click complete showcase. And voila, we have the flag. I'm just gonna copy this flag, go back to my lesson and simply paste this and click check. Here we go, we finished. And finally, if you enjoyed the room, please check Defending Adversarial Attacks. That's a room by TryHackMe, which is an excellent platform for you to learn hacking and practice with these things. Now I'm just gonna click check to conclude this lesson. And that will be the end of day four for TryHackMe Advent of Cyber. If you enjoyed this, please check the rest of TryHackMe if you wanna learn hacking. Please let me know how you go in the comments. And finally, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in cybersecurity.